Hey, welcome to our 29th season of Let's Fixer Up. Mike Jamison here with you. And uh, for all these years, we've been showing you how to do this, that, and the other thing. Maybe not as good as a professional can get things done, but I'll tell you what, we've been able to get the job done and uh, we've got a lot of projects we're gonna be doing this year on our shows. We're right smack dab in the middle of our, our first project that we're working on here. And this is uh, basically a whole kitchen remodel. We're gonna be working with the great people over at the countertop shop, putting in some nice, uh, really, really nice quartz countertops. Uh, right now, and that's what we're gonna be showing you this week on the show. Uh, I'm putting in a, uh, a porcelain floor. They're 12 by 24 tiles. And pain in the butt. It is. It's a very hard job, but it's not a hard job. It's just very time consuming. You got to make sure that, you know, as you get old like me, your body hurts and you can't work as many hours as you wanted to work. But um, we're, we're working real hard at getting this done so that we can, uh, we're going to redo, we're going to uh, re spray paint all the doors and uh, of all the cabinetry and put some new, uh, uh, openers for that. She's also going to be putting in some new um, appliances and also uh, just going to make it a real, real pretty area. And we'll be showing that in the next few weeks on the show. We'll also this week be talking with Marty Bin about uh, home mortgages and kind of giving you an update of what's been happening in the economic market here in the Toledo area and some of the surprisingly smart things you can do right now to make sure you uh, do the right thing. And we'll also be talking with Steve Naylor. Um, we're having some issues with our eaves troughs in our house where the water's basically not going through the eaves troughs, it's going behind the eaves troughs. And uh, is this a whole new redo or is there a fix for this that uh, the great people at CA Roofing can do? So we're gonna be showing you a little bit of everything here and uh, don't yell at me if I do something wrong. I've had a lot of people, oh, 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 oh. it's just a guy who's got some great ideas. That's why you have all the great stores like Gladio do it best to uh, work with us and uh, make sure that we can get it all done. Hope you enjoy this week's show. This project is a uh, start of many that we'll be doing this year on Let's Fix Her Up, our 29th season. And uh, we do have a lot of neat things that'll be happening here. And uh, I have a good friend of mine who kind of finagled me into uh, putting in a floor for her at her condo here. And actually what wound up happening is we're doing uh, a floor where uh, we, we got the great people over at the countertop shop that uh, uh, put in and they're they're right now they're cutting it and getting it all set up She having all new countertops put in and then we're gonna do something special with the cabinets here She wants to keep the cabinets here cost-effective trying to keep that all together, but uh, Basically, we we've kind of been commissioned to put the floor in we took uh, there was a vinyl floor in here And we actually took the whole vinyl floor out and I, I got very lucky because sometimes with these vinyl floors when you go to peel them off um, they, they really stick to the uh, the wood underneath and uh, this one came off pretty nice for us you know, pre it's a condominium you know how they build the condominium sometimes it, you know they, it's not it was done right so uh, we were able to get all of that off uh, we picked out a uh, 12 by 24 porcelain tile that we got and she wanted to go with a dark color her um, her, her uh, countertops that she's getting are going to be like a onyx white type that she's going to get uh, uh, eventually new uh, completely new uh, uh, appliances and uh, but right now basically what we've been going through here is uh, getting everything set and this is not a weekend job this 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 takes you a little while to get this done once we have the whole floor uh, tore up we obviously swept everything down to make sure we didn't have any bumps or anything in and then we actually started measuring 
that's probably the hardest thing to do in this project is the measuring, uh, making sure. Uh, yeah, you want to make sure when you're on your edges and you're on your ends on uh, on your uh, walkway here and your hallway that uh, the tiles match up on either ends because sometimes it, it just wouldn't look right. So you want to find your absolute center point of your whole project. Here it was kind of easy for us. And then we worked off that center piece and went back with everything that we were doing. Um, one of the tough problems that we had with this, uh, with it being the 24 inch tiles, was uh, cutting of the tiles. Now, on some projects, uh, you want to uh, make sure you pull up uh, the trim. We decided not to go that route with it, so we're gonna put grout lines in all the way across for our trim. Uh, but uh, had a little problem with, uh, with our machine. We, we got a, a, a wet cutter, a wet saw to do it, and it was giving us a, like, a, just a, like a crappy little edge, and we didn't like that. So we went to a 24-inch uh, uh, cutter, basically. You score it, and then you break each of the uh, uh, tiles. Uh, it took us a while to get used to it because it wasn't set up the way I thought it should be set up. Now, whether it's right or wrong, that's the way it was. But we got that in. We've got uh, most of our tiles are in right now, and uh, we're doing a little of our grout work. And uh, we'll be showcasing a little bit of that next week on our show. We've got a real big show this week for you here. But... Uh, we, we got a nice mastic that we're using, our adhesive, and we're using a quarter inch uh, growl, uh, grout or for, for, uh, to spread it, and it'll, it'll leave a, like a uh, quarter inch groove all the way through, which gives it very good setting power, make sure everything is level, and uh, we're, cause you wanna make sure all your tiles are level and in place when you put them in. Uh, we put spacers in, quarter inch spacers uh, between each of our grout, and basically right now uh, what we're doing is uh, I am working on starting some of the grouting and uh, we'll showcase that next week. Uh, we've got three or four shows here that we're going to be doing with this. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the big things that we had to make sure that we did was make sure our measurements are correct. Uh, both north and south, you know, you want to make sure you don't have a real mess up at the end, and we don't. Everything worked out good. We actually went in and uh, put a new toilet in and, uh, and, and completely did the tile around the toilet, took the toilet out, and here's a Mike Jamison thing. Took the toilet out, we set the toilet down, beautiful toilet, no problems with it. Of course, it falls over and cracks in half. So we had to go out and get a new toilet. But uh, we got the toilet in and uh, basically have that area all tiled in, put our tile under it. Now, when you do that with, um, with the toilet, you're going to have to make sure your wax ring that you have, you have to get one of the jumbo ones because you've, you've brought it up another quarter of an inch. And then you have to make sure you have the long screws when you put your, uh, your toilet in. Uh, that's all in. Everything worked out real well with that. I'm going to get hardcore back to work, and we're going to have more of this on next week's show. But uh, uh, a lot of good things happening here. We're also going to be putting in, uh, cross our fingers on the weather. Every time we decide to do a project, the weather craps out on us. But we're knocking down a shed in my backyard, and we're going to take up the 8x8 uh, the eight eight, uh, concrete pad that's in there, and we're going to take that out, and we're going to put a 20 by 10 pad in and then we're going to build a nice big shed back there so we can get our tractor and everything in and uh, make sure everything works out with that but we've got a lot more stuff going on this week on the show and uh we're going to just keep right on rolling and i'm going to go back and get my hands dirty right now When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. As your roof past its peak, it's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Yeah. 
for L-E-A-K-C-H. First thing I guess I have to say is thank you. 29 years you've been with my ugly butt. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, no, seriously, because... You're welcome. You've been good to us. I, I, you know, we do this little show and everybody laughs about it, but we can't go anywhere. I walk into any grocery store and I have people coming up to me and they're always asking me questions, which some of them I know, but now we're here at my house and I, I really have some issues. And uh, like you just told me off camera here a few minutes ago, Okay, Mike, it's time. We got to start thinking about it. Yeah. And we're having a little eavesdrop issues. You've been helping me out building where it was tor it was terribly bad. Yes. And you you fixed that for me. But I, you know, some of my other eavesdrop issues are, and I and I don't have the problems where I have to get, you know, in with the guard systems. You guys have a wonderful system, but I'm lucky enough that I don't have trees. You don't have a whole lot of trees <laughs> overhanging yeah, nothing, your roof. Nothing yeah. here. But we're we're gonna get we're gonna have Karen on in a few weeks when we're talking about that too. Okay, great. Yeah, we've got a great gutter helmet system. It's the best in the business. Oh, definitely. Best warranties. Um, Gets it done. You know, all the patents, you know, it's just a great, great product. Well, you know, when, when we were talking, and this has been the one thing, if I've gotten any amount of phone calls, it's like, why can't a, why doesn't a plumber get back to me right now? Why won't this contractor this? What? Well, tell us why. <laughs> so we're just, everybody's just really, really busy and everybody knows what's going on, you know, with labor shortages and, and actually getting the product, um, getting aluminum, getting vinyls, um, getting anything like that. So everybody's a little bit slower. Sure. Um, and, um, Makes it tough. People have been spending more time at their house, so our, our phones have been, you know, ringing. We've had so much rain. One of the rainiest se seasons in the history of Toledo, Ohio, Rossford, our, right, you know, right. Northwest Ohio. One of the rainiest seasons ever. Um, and, and we're just literally sometimes trying to keep up with our phone calls. Right, right, right. Um, and being under understaffed in the office. Um, it's, it's just really hard. But we are out still doing the best job we can and uh, offering you know great gutter systems and um and we were talking to mike um you yeah know, we're looking at the whole shebang yeah, here now so it's, yep, so it's we've time. limped it around we fixed yep, your side exactly. a couple times we fixed your gutters got a great deal on the house but we knew we were going to have to do sure. things and, and use some of the money in the house yep. to do some of this stuff and that's yep. what we're going to do so if we start when you actually put the roof on there's a drip edge that picture yeah. frames the roof and you can you can buy drip edges at a lot of different places, and they're they're only going to be you know three quarters of an inch drop, but you really need a good two inch drop uh, with a quarter inch at the bottom, you know, or somewhere right in there, so the water comes off the roof, and then kicks out into the gutter. Kind of flies. And then out there. and then you want to make sure that the gutters you know got a got a good pitch to the downspout. Right. And that the downspout carries the water away from the house. You're going to start, you, you know, if it doesn't, you can have foundation problems. If the water doesn't yeah. get into the gutter properly, and there's gutter covers that we, you know, get rid of all the debris. If you have a lot of debris in your gutters, it can get clogged up. Then you've got ice damming, you've got rotten fascia, and um, you got it all. <laughs> and we want to. We want to. <laughs> you got it all well, going you know on. Up here. I've I've taken pieces, old pieces of roofing that I have, just to put it on there, just to make it come over there. Yeah. That didn't do the job. So basically, yeah. what I'm looking at here, if because I'm going to keep these until we do the whole house, we'll change sure. it all at once. Yeah. But I need to get that drip edge because my drip edge is not even a quarter of an inch, is it? Yeah, no, maybe a quarter of an inch. It's 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 right in there. It's but it, real it needs small. to come out more because, yeah. folks, my big problem is when we have the big rains, it just it just pours. It just pours all right. the way down, and you see how bad my fascia boards and they're all going to have to be changed now. Yeah. I mean, you don't fix that. Right. You got you to change that. the price of that. wood. Yeah, yeah. It's coming I down a little bit. I bet you want me to do all that because I'm such a master carpenter, right? <laughs> yeah, that's no, right. No, no, <laughs> no. But seriously, we're, we're... Well, and when you when you redo it, the best thing to do, you know, like you're going to do is cover it in a custom-formed aluminum. Yep, yep, So yep. when you're done, it's going to be a maintenance-free home. And that's what everybody wants, right? And you and, and what you guys have is uh, the ability uh, for lengthwise, like, well, custom. It's it, all it, custom, it, yeah. You can all do it. Yep. Very cool. And we've ordered a, a lot of metal. Uh, there, is, there is a brief period of time 
where we couldn't get our gutter coil. Mm -hmm. you know, it comes in a coil and it runs through a machine so it's seamless. Gotcha. You can go by 10 feet and 20 feet, then you got seams and you don't want that. No, you not don't here. want seams, no. But you did that with the gutters you put out. You literally built yeah, so the gutters they, right yep, here. They, they run right out the back. They run through a system that comes out the back and then we snip it off and um, so, but for a while we couldn't get the coil to make the gutters. Oh my goodness. Um, but um, we're in good shape now. Fantastic. And, You're just uh, out we'll there a couple of weeks and you know, we bear are. with them because this is just not their problem. Yeah, this everybody is that's, everybody that's in here. Yep. You know, and I, I know you're working on a job for my good buddy, Jeff. And uh, and he goes, you know, JMO, I know it's not like they're going to be putting the uh, new siding on my house here in two weeks. I get it, but we're yeah. making plans for spring. Yeah. And yep. that's what you want to do right now. Start making your plans. Yeah. If we can make any repairs to, you know, get you through. And now, I mean, we don't know what Mother Nature is going to bring. <laughs> you know, True. we've had great Decembers, you know. Work get right things through. done. We've worked through a lot of Decembers. Right. A lot of them. So it's um, just depending on the size of your project um, of us getting you done this year. And, well, uh, and if it's leaking or not, we can do things to stop leaking yeah. and get you ready for the spring. But we're, we're, we still got plenty of time left to do a lot of work. Well, you can give them a call at 244-L-E-A-K-C-Gate. See, That's we right. got that. Well, since I got you in uh, I got you in Rossford here, you want to go over for a Mo Burger? Oh, it sounds great. Doesn't cheeseburger? Uh, we'll cheese, do it. We'll bacon do it. cheese Mo Burger. There you go. There you go. Well, he's going to help me out. Steve always takes care of us here. And and dear and truthfully, 29 years he's been yeah. with us, and that's incredible. You know, we're one of the longest running TV shows, local TV shows in America now. I hear it all the time. So. I do. I do. Yeah, I seen you on that show. What's that show? <laughs> What's that show? Let's fix her up. Yep, yep, you know yep. I mean? So, well, the next thing, it's I might have to get you a little down and dirty with me here. I don't know if I want to get you up on that roof, but now you yeah. got me thinking, eh, we got to we'll do see. it. You're still young. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. You know, we've known each other for 47 years. And you that, still, seems, that seems about right. And you still put up with me. I love it. I love it. I well, love it. I, no one's ever accused me of making good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> there, you, there you are. Marty been over here at Fairway Mortgage, and Marty, I mean, I'll, incredible things happened this whole summer. You know, I was talking to you about it where I, granted, I got a very good deal on my house. I did. It was one of those rush things. They had to have it done, this and this. But, you know, I basically doubled my, what my house is worth now. I, so watch. So here, here, here's the thing I want everybody to think about. Okay, we went through a period from 1998 or 1999 through the great meltdown. Mm -hmm. so let's call it 2007, 2008 in our area. It was right. a little later in other areas of the country, but the canary was in the coal mine here a little sooner than the coast. Okay, you and got our puppy. Oh, yeah, he's got to come. Gotta, 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 Get out of here. Okay, so watch. So, so, so that happens, and what you had is you had a run-up then, and it was mm -hmm. fueled by a, an over-expansion of credit. So people that couldn't really afford how we used to call it the mirror loan. Right? Oh, you yeah. hold the mirror up to your face. If, the, if there was a little fog on the mirror, you got approved. Now the terms were kind of crappy and it was, it, was, it was garbage. Sure. Okay, then you had the crash. And from say 07, 08 through maybe 2013, prices crashed. Right. They literally crashed. So here's, I want everybody to pretend today that none of that ever happened. And go back to 1999. And say, how, how fast did the economy grow from 1999 to 2021, or let's call it 2022, right? Mm -hmm. next year. We're there almost. So that's 21, 22 years. Well, the economy has averaged about 2% growth during that time. So some years it went up more than that. Some years it went down during the Great Recession, right? But it, it's averaged about 2%. 
So what would be sustainable is if house prices had always gone up about the same as the growth in the economy, right? Because that's what it should be. Sure, right, right. If you pretend that they never went down, that they never ran up crazy, and you went all the way back to, say, 2000, and you looked at what your house was worth in 2000, and then you said, what's my house worth today? I'll guarantee you, without us ever looking, that that number is within a couple percentage points. Wow. So what we did in the last 18 or 20 months is we caught up what had been behind. So housing was a lagging growth for the first time in its history since you know since the turn of the century, mm -hmm. since the turn of the old, I'm talking 1900 century. Right, right. So since the Great Depression, this is the first time housing's lagged because of this, the housing crisis. Right. So what we've done is caught it up in a short period of time. And what it's caused a whole bunch of people to do is say, hey, we're doing it all, we're not doing it all over again. Because credit, credit guidelines are very tight right now. We, we underwrite a file the old-fashioned way. We're not doing mirror loans. We're doing real loans where you have to prove your income. We, I mean, it's, it's, it's Bingo, still right. a real thing. So what's happened is we've caught it up. Now, if next year we go up another 10%, now we'll talk about it. Right. Where we're at today is where we always should have been today. We should have always been where we are today. We weren't for a long time, and now we caught it up in a short period of time, and that's caused people to be worried. We're already seeing inventories start to normalize. We're seeing price, price growth moderating. You're mm -hmm. not going to see prices fall anytime soon because we're back where we always should have been. Right. So there's not going to be some bubble. You're not going to see this crash. What you're going to see is hopefully a plateau where we flatten out, and then prices just going up at their like normal. Like they're normal, right? They're normal 2%, two, 3%. Two, so before everybody gets freaked out or scared or everything else, a couple things. One is rates are still really good. It's still a great time to buy. You're paying fair market prices right now. If you bought five years ago, you bought when you bought your house, you got a great deal. I did. Because the reality is house prices were below <coughs> where they should have been during that entire time. And we got pups going too. Yeah, so. yeah. well, he, he just got to, he's got <laughs> He's got to be here he's at gotta, he's, Right, he's got to stick his nose in. But, but the, the reality is no matter how you slice it, we're not outside of that reality. And, and you, I've, I've watched the really smart people who analyze this are all saying the same things. Then that's nationally and that's, mm -hmm. now are there pockets on certain areas, like in Idaho right now because of a rotation away from California? Yeah, there, there's pockets where you gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. not, in our, not in our market area. Our market area is back to where it always should have been. It's very healthy and it's very, very sustainable. So for the people that are saying, I don't wanna buy right now, it's, it's not going down, mm -hmm. okay? And rates probably are going up next year, right? We're going to take away the COVID, yeah. the, the COVID rate fingers. subsidy. Yeah. yeah, and so we're going to normalize rates. We're going to go back to three and a half or four, which is still awesome, but it but, won't be the two and something everybody got for a while. And that's going to be okay because that's going to signal that our economy is also normalizing and returning mm -hmm. back as more and more people reintegrate fully into the workforce and we get out of the subsidy economy that we've been in and back to a normal economic situation. I think all those things are kind of baked in the cake. And, and for everybody that worries about it, I just say, if it's the right time for you, buy. If it's the right time for you, sell. If you're thinking of moving up, it, it, you're not going to time this. Right. And it's not going back. Mm -hmm. All we did was catch up what always should happen. And, and you know, if you think of it in terms of that, and again, we could just go, we could go right now onto Wood County's computer and look what your house would have sold right. for the last time. And I bet if I multiplied it times 1.02 and then did the, the whole it, thing where it compounds, same, yeah. we, can, we can get within nothing of your number. In fact, I was, I have a good friend who's an appraiser, probably my favorite appraiser in the whole market. And we were talking about a property over there behind Costco on Central Avenue the other day. And he's like, yeah, but it's 30 grand more than it was just three years ago. I said, okay, but let's go back to the, it was a 2,000 sale. A, sure. Literally 2,000. And I said, let's project out from that. And he, he, we kind of laughed. It was a thousand, within a thousand dollars. Wow. At 2%, it was within a thousand dollars of where it's selling today. So what does that tell you? For eight or nine, 10 years in the middle, house prices kind of laid flat or barely moved. And we all watched it happen, right? They. You didn't have, like if you bought it for 110, you weren't getting 120 right, for it. Right, Five right. years later, you were getting about what you paid for it. And that went on for a long time. And that's not how it normally would be. Normally, price growth matches economic growth, just like almost every other product that we 
right? I mean, we all expect yeah. that the prices go up a little bit. Sure. And they grow, they go up matching. So, you know, when inflation's running at four and the economy's growing at two, that's a problem. If inflation's at two and the economy's growing at two, it's kind of all in balance. Is this a good time if people want to? Is it a refinancing time? And I was talking to you about my situation, like, okay, I want to put a shed in my house. I want to do this. I want to maybe get some stuff done, countertop, whatever. Is this a good time to do it? You know, you got to look at where you are on your current rate. You know, I mean, there are people that haven't taken advantage of the low rate environment we're in, and they should probably refinance the whole thing. There are other people that have locked in a really low rate, and what they should look at is a second mortgage. It's going to be a little higher, though. Well, they right? should look at a second mortgage or home equity line or what have you. Sure. So I think it's situational. You know, the, the part that really scares me is I start hearing people try and time out, well, I don't want to buy right now when it's like this. Right. Okay, well, first of all, it's not like it was six months ago. Right. It's much calmer than it was six months ago. And we're going to enter this winter season and next spring very much normalizing. So will inventory be back to pre-pandemic levels? No. Will it be back to more balanced? I'm already seeing it. I'm seeing, oh, yeah. I'm seeing you know, instead of six or eight offers, it's one or two offers. And it's not necessarily going way above asking price and people aren't putting in the giant appraisal gaps. And I mean, there was a time this summer where it was a little crazy. It was unbelievable. It was, right. Put the sign up, the next day the house was had an offer. But that was driven by inventory. Uh-huh. Okay, the law of supply and demand is pretty cruel, right? There was, right, there was healthy demand and not enough supply. And what does that do? It creates imbalances. Right, right. That, that's over. Okay, not all gone, but it's mostly over now. And that's a really good thing. It's a good thing for sellers because most sellers are also buyers, right? right? Most people that yeah. are selling a house are going to buy something exactly. else. Exactly. And so, you know, a balanced real estate market is healthy for all of us. And and we're close. I wouldn't say we're quite there, but I would say by the time Thanksgiving rolls around and you're carving Bing. up that turkey, you know, you might pay a little more for the turkey and you're yeah. going to pay more for the ice cream. <laughs> but housing will have been balanced. Well, that's, see, that's what you want to hear. Marty, I'll tell you what you want to do. You know, if you have any ideas, you're, you're, you're tinkering with things that you want to do to maybe make steps up and things like that. Marty, just he literally knows everything about what's going on with home ownership and, and making sure that you make the right decisions. And Fairway Mortgage, you guys have been around and uh, you've been a great sponsor for us. Thank you. But I, I mean, just sitting down and having a cup of coffee with you is the greatest thing in the world. You, I didn't know that. I didn't know. I say that a hundred times when I'm with you. Well, I appreciate that. And, and here's the thing, you know, if, if you're thinking of doing something, don't wait until you're going to do it to reach out. You know, my, my favorite conversations are the ones where somebody calls today and says, hey, I want to do something in January or February. I want to do something in the spring. Because right. then we can actually take some steps and say, here's what you need to do so that when that right. time comes, we have you in the right. In fact, I have a closing this Friday, and it's somebody that we talked to back in February and put them on a program and put them on a plan. And it took until, you know, the latter half of this year for them to find the right house. Wow. But when I say this, the boxes were all checked, I mean, it was Click, 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 three weeks, closed, done. And had we tried to do that in the spring, it would have been a, it, it yeah. would have been a yeah, giant go, fire drill. Yeah. It would have been just, it had been a, a mess. Right. And, and the reality is it's almost always better to talk about what it will look like before you need to do it, not when it's time. Yep. And, and we're happy to have those conversations because those are the ones where then we can help you be the most successful when push comes to shove. Well, I'll tell you what, Fairway Mortgage is uh, somebody you really want to talk to. I know that we're, we're just now starting to talk about some things I want to do at my house. And, uh, you know, we've got a little equity in the house now, and it's it doing real well. But there's some things we have to do, and we'll have them out here on uh, Let's Fix Her Up. And, uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash a few hands with the hammer this year. Um, I, I expect nothing less from you. <laughs> and the phone call after I do it, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Marty, thank you so much. Great seeing you as well. Always. We'll have Marty on the show, and he's on our radio show, too, on uh, ESPN 100.7 everywhere. When I can get him to wake up on a Saturday morning. You're I'm all fishing. Away. You're I'm fishing. You're doing away. something. Yeah.